Hello guys, and welcome to a new episode in the How to Make an RPG in Unity tutorial series. In this episode, we're going to be making it so that our skeletons will spawn when you open the chest, and after you have finished the quest, you will be able to talk, go back to Joey, talk to him, and finish the quest, and maybe even get a room. Um, and in the next episode, we're going to be dealing with death screens, and uh, escape screens so stay tuned for that but anyways that said let's start making today's progress so first thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to have to go into our scene and we're going to make some spawn points for our skeletons so we're going to be making some empty objects um that are going to be like essentially spawn points so what we're going to do is we're going to go into our chest and we're going to create like just a bunch of empties now let's say we can call this spawn point one and this will be like the first spawn point where skeletons can spawn from so spawn point one and spawn point two can be here and spawn point three can be here and so on and so on i'm only going to make like around four spawn points because i don't want like again i don't want too many spawn points because you guys can perfect this if you want um but basically what how this is going to work is we're going to go into our weapon scripts, or not our weapon scripts, or our Quest01 script. Um, and basically, we're just going to edit the script a bit and make it so that um, when you do press E and spawn the sword, we're also going to spawn everything else. So, first of all, we're going to create an array of game objects or transforms. Um, I'm gonna call this spawn points. So, and then what we're gonna do is we can go down here and say is um, spawn. Uh, actually, so what we can do is we can do a, generate a random number. So var ran um, is gonna be equal to um, random dot range and zero to spawn points dot length. So we're just going to generate a random number between the zero and the spawn points length here. Um, and then what we're going to do is we can say spawn points or random. So we can, this is going to be the spawn point that we're using. And we can just say instantiate. Um, and we can instantiate. Basically, we're going, this is going to be the position. But anyways, we're going to create a another instance for our prefab that we're going to be having. So we can say skeleton obj. So public game object skeleton obj. And we can say over here, instantiate skeleton obj um, at the spawn point, the random spawn point that we chose. And, and with this random um, rotation that we have chosen. And um, dot rotation. Um, yeah, so that should pretty much do it, um, except right now it will only spawn one. So what we want to do is we can say, um, in the inspector, we can say, um, public in spawn amount, and we can make a for loop here. So for i is equal to zero, i is less than length, i plus plus, we can copy this code and paste it here. And instead of i is less than length, we can say i is less than spawn amount. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so basically what this is doing is that um, we're going to create a number that starts with zero. And as long as zero is less than spawn amount, whatever is in here will keep on firing. And every time it fires, I will increase by one. So it's basically just looping. Um, yeah, so now I think we're pretty much done with the spawning. Um, so what we can do is we can go to the chest and go to the trigger i believe and we can go over here and skeleton obj has is in our prefabs i believe so right here and spawn amount can be like five i don't want to like on my pc too much and the spawn points are going to be here so we want to click this lock button and click on this hold down shift and then click on the bottom one drag them all in then we can unlock it and now we can go into unity and test it out so, first you have to talk to Joey. 
I need your help. Yes. And we open the gate. And now we open the chest. Um, and we've got a lot of errors actually. So why do we have errors? So player dot target is not set. So what we need to do is we need to go into Void Star and we need to set player as um a default. So we can say um on Void Star we can say player is equal to game object dot uh, find with the name of what is our player name? Um, I believe it is just player. So we can say here, or not single quotes, double quotes, and players you go to game object that find player. That's pretty much it. So now we can go back into Unity, and it should work as long as we don't have anything else named player. So, so only for from now on, only name your player player. So we can talk to Joey blah blah blah. Now we can go back into Unity. Go to the, go to our chest then open it and now you can see the skeletons are all walking towards us um and there's five spawn just like or four spawn i believe or not five five yeah just like how we wanted it to be um now the skeleton enemies are really powerful um you can see here they're completely destroying me um but that's okay um, you guys can like adjust the difficulty of it if you want. Like you guys can make the skeleton enemies have less health, more health, less damage, spawn less, um, spawn one by one. Um, really, it's up to you. So I'm just going to make it so that it only spawns once, so it's actually easy to take care of. So we're only gonna have one spawn, and over here inside our Joey script, what we can do is we can be like. Oh, so once you have taken it and talked to Joey, so uh, once you have sword in your inventory and have, can t and have talked to Joey, then we're going to um, do we're going to finish the quest. So what we can say is we can go into Joey script. So where is Joey script? Um, leave it as in a trigger. Yep, right here. So NPC one. So we can create a reference to our our player data. So we can say public or private player data data. And on void start, it um data is going to be equal to find object find object of type player data. And basically what we're going to do here is we're just going to say um, once we interact and if we have talked to him, um, what we can do is we're only going to do this um, if we have, um, if we have, if, if we don't have the sword in our inventory, but if we do have the sword somewhere in our inventory, then what we're going to do is um, we're going to just make it so that we can actually, you know, finish the quest. So we can say, um, we can just basically loop through the hotbar. Um, and if it's not in the hotbar, then, um, the player can't really give it to him. So if we had the sword in our hotbar, um, then what's going to happen is, um, we're going to loop through the hotbar. So I believe the hotbar is called, just called hotbar. So we can say four again, so we can make another four loop. Um, data dot hotbar dot length. So for every item, and we're looping through the hotbar um, array, and we can say if data dot hotbar i is equal to or just two signs. Um, and we can say over here public object data wooden sword. So if it is equal to wooden sword. Then we're just going to make another private pool as gotten sword is equal to false. So we're gonna say basically here has gotten sword is equal to true. And over here we can say if 
not has gotten sword. Um, and else, if we did get the sword, then we're going to do something completely different. We're going to go over here, and we're going to play Dialogue 1.6. Um, and yeah, so basically, this is it. Um, and we can code it so that they can get a reward once we have like a gold system. Um, but for now, it's just going to like play a set dialogue and finish the quest finish the quest um so what we can do is we can also say here since we don't have a quest anymore we can just set our quest number or not dialogue number my bad quest number to be zero negative one but then we can go back into unity and we can edit everything that we need to edit so over here, wooden sword is obviously the only item we have right now. And we can go to our player and look at the player data. Um, and we can create a new, um, new dialogue uh, objects. I, where are the dialogue objects? There's hotbar, inventory, background slots. Um, I believe it is in the canvas, if I'm not mistaken. Should just be in dialogue box, right? Yeah, okay, so um dialogue 1.5. And we can go over here and we can say case 1.6 F. Um then we just copy this and we can go over here and make a one not six one oh six and so playing 105, we can just play 106. So now we can go back into Unity. And what we can do is we can just make the actual dialogue. So we can come right here and in 106, we can say, uh, create like three and we can be like, oh, Joey so can be like, oh, you have found my sword. Did you defeat the enemies? Good job. Thanks. As your reward, you get to keep my sword. Okay, so that's pretty much it. So now we can go back into Unity and talk to Joey. I need your help, blah, blah, blah. And then we can open the gate. Um, and we can pick up the sword, fight the one skeleton that's going to spawn. Can't pick it up. Why can I not pick it up? Can't pick up the sword for some reason. I'm just gonna run away and try to pick up the sword again. Okay, so there we go. Um, I feel like the combat is kind of lacking. We might add some knockback in the future. Um, for like both the player and the enemy or like some particles to create some more like features or like more impact so right now the skeleton I just remember doesn't die we'll make them actually die in the next episode uh, but for now we're just gonna come over here and we'll talk to Joey oh yeah found my sword did you defeat the enemies great job you have to keep the sword okay so now we can't actually talk to him anymore that's it um, so the final thing we're going to do is we're just going to make it so that after we talk to Joey, um, we're going to make there be no targets. So we're just going to say, um, targets go no. So we're just going to say, once we have talked to Joey, we can go into our NPC one and we can, um, make a private reference for our quest OBJ. OBJ. So private quest OBJ. OBJ okay. And we just say in void star obj is equal to find object of type quest j and then we can just say here quest obj dot target is equal to no so yeah or just two equal signs there we go so um why can i not do this obj is 
Um, let's go to request object. Do we even have a target? Is it even called target? What is it called? Um, target, yeah. So it is called target. Um, why can I not set it as no? Oh, my bad. Um, you <laughs> one equal sign. Yeah, okay. So now, um, everything will work. Um, I'm just gonna do one last test before this episode ends. Um, so we can go up to Joey, we can talk to him, I need your help, blah, blah, blah. Um, also we forgot to set a name for Joey, but obviously you guys are free to make the dialogue as good as you want. Um, so we don't actually have to kill the skeleton, so I'm just gonna pick up the sword. I'm just gonna run away. Um, okay, so I'm running away from the skeleton. And now I talk to Joey. Oh, you found my sword. Good job. And now the targets are null and I don't see a quest mark anymore. Great. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching this ep um, episode 15 of our RPG series. I never thought it would get to episode 15. I thought it would die probably at like five or six. Um, but thanks to anybody, everybody who has been continually watching um, these episodes and following along on the journey. Um, yeah. Um, anyways, episode 16 will be about uh, dead screens, making the enemies actually die, and making like a start screen and a loading screen. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.